Hi everybody, welcome back to my video. I'm Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle. Today, I thought I would tell you some stories. I think I'm going to start a little series on this because I've got so many funny stories on this subject. School bus driving, bus aides, people on my bus, just different stories that are just so funny that Oh, well, I think they're funny. I hope you think they're funny. Okay, let me start with one. Notice I'm outside. Isn't it pretty out today? It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful day. I've got this tree over there that's just all red. It's so pretty. Okay, well, anyway, back to my stories. Let's go right. to the story. Picture this. It's football season. We'll do this one because it's, it's football season now. I'm driving the football bus all right so normally we would take four band buses and two football buses and on the football buses there was a varsity bus with the starters and then the the second players and the second string they would ride on the second bus so i look at go in and look at my you know the jobs sheet and it's like oh i have the football bus oh i have the first football bus all right, never did that before. Usually, I like taking the band. I always like taking the band. So, I get to work, get my bus pulled out, pull over where they're supposed to be. They all load up and get on. Now, these are all big, the bigger players, and they were already practicing, so they were kind of smelly and, you know, the whole thing. Eh, no big deal. So, we load up, no problem. Where are we going? know where we're going but I'm not quite sure where the school is okay not so quite we sure. uh, start on the drive all right no big deal second bus is behind me I'm leading the way no big deal oh about 10 minutes into the drive the band buses started loading back at the school now we had radios on our buses so we could talk to each other all right remember that so I've got this football bus, and it's silence. It's dead silence. They're in game mode. Nobody's talking. Nobody's moving. Nobody's nothing. They're quiet as can be, all right? So that's just, to me, that's a little odd because I'm used to a school bus full of noise and, you know. So, all right. So now the band buses are loading. The bus drivers that are loading start talking on the radio. Now the radio is next to me so I kind of turn it down so they start getting really funny on the radio because there's nobody it's nighttime and it's like it's not it's not like it's school time all right you know what I mean so they start telling jokes on the radio not jokes but just funny stuff and I get the giggles now I'm sitting up here driving the bus driving the bus got all silence behind me now I've got the giggles let me tell you the coach he's like what is wrong with you nothing I turn my radio down more and I'm driving on the road and I'm just oh my now I've got tears running down my face I'm trying really hard not to laugh because they're in game mode and I don't know I look like I'm in party mode driving down the road driving down the road and the football coach finally says are you okay what is so funny he gets upset with me because I'm laughing I'm like I'm okay I'm here's right. me pulling into the school and mind you it just we just had three days of rain three days of rain it was pouring down rain get to the field and he's like I want you to go across the grass and park over there by the locker room Sir, I am not driving this bus across that wet grass with all the puddles because we will get stuck. I'm not doing it. I told you I want you to go over there by that way. He started screaming at me. And I'm like, I'm not doing it. I am not driving this bus across the grass. If we get stuck, we've got a football team load of people that and what is so funny with you anyway now I'm just laughing okay because I got this football coach with bad breath okay well, let's add that screaming in my face to park the bus over in the mud all right 
so that that didn't go over well with me so I did I just parked the bus and I said this is as far as I'm going if you want to play the game you get out here oh he was so mad at me he was so freaking mad at me I I didn't even care another football game another football game now I'm driving the band bus because now I totally refuse to drive football teams if anybody wants to trade me trade me the football oh, there's a fly or a bee oh my hmm Anybody wants to trade me if I get if I if I get assigned the football team, I ain't taking it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not dealing with that coach again. Who wants to trade me? Who wants to trade me? So I always traded somebody because I refuse to drive that football bus again. All right. So let me set the scene. Band, football game, away game. Buses are loaded. Coming home coming home it's like 11 30 at night it was overtime i'm tired we're all tired we all just want to go home so we pull into the back of the school and all the parents are there to pick up their kids so there's cars everywhere everywhere so we pull in and we the garage is like behind us the, the garage is on one side the school is on this side and you had this narrow pathway to go and all these cars are everywhere and we just want to go home and we want to get out of here and we want these cars to get out of here and it's like just come on people get get your kid and go so we can park the bus so my spot finally opens up because they were parked up against my garage door so I get out I open my garage door to, to back in my bus I put the garage door up get in my bus start backing into the garage and all of a sudden I hear Boom! And I'm thinking, whoa, what was that? Hmm. Park the bus, and the other drivers come over, stop the bus, you know, get out of the bus, and I'm like, what? What was that, Michelle? That was the garage door. And I look up, and the garage door is on top of my bus, and I'm thinking, oh crap! Oh crap! Now, now. <laughs> I, what do I do now because the 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 bus the bus can't move in or out now because the garage door is laying on top of it. It's 11:30 at night. I got to call my boss, wake him up and tell him what I did. And I'm thinking, "Oh no." <laughs> what had happened was when I put the garage door up about oh, just enough didn't go up that when I backed my bus up the whole daggone thing landed on top of it and I'm like oh crap oh crap so I get on the phone and I call my boss and I'm he's like what what do you want I'm like well he, what did you do and I'm like well mm, I backed into the, the garage doors on top of my bus it's on top of my bus so he had to come in he wasn't happy. He had to get out of bed, drag his butt out of bed, come to the school, and uh, take care of that situation. So they let me go home. So I, I'm not real sure how it happened, but I do know when I went to, to school Monday morning, I couldn't get my bus out. I had to drive a sub bus because my bus was stuck inside the garage with the garage door jammed down somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Well, if you want more of these fun stories, because I have a whole list of them. I have, I've made, I started making lists of all these funny stories that I've come across in my driving years. Come back for more. If you like the video, give me a like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification and hit all so you don't miss any more of my crazy videos, because who knows what I'm going to film next. Bye.